managing the economy. Slemmy getting some love from the crowd as well. That new face, I'm sure we'll get to know and love. But we, I just want to address this now. Like the, we had it on the desk just before and how important the, the pistol round win. NRG was struggling to pick, win pistols and therefore struggling to win games. And oh. <laughs> the invisible man has made the crowd erupt. He is indeed nothing. He is indeed. <laughs> there he is. Jordan Gilbert himself. I cannot remember what I was trying to say now. Thanks Pistols very much, Jordan. And the economy. Yeah, you know where I'm going with this, Yang. Oh. All right, so we're going to see how that works out, of course, now. As Freakazoid will lead the charge, but taking a look at things, most of Splice, they're trying to line their players up now, heading into the back of the B-bomb site, but also there's an aggressive push coming on from Cold. He's going to be able to spot this up on top, and Taco is sitting just below the ramp too. This will be tough if they attempt to execute through this, and LG spots it early, as we most assumably will see here with Cold at this point. Nice holding back now, good trigger discipline. Has he spotted the fourth player? In the meantime, though, Davey finds that first kill. Taco does respond with his own pickup, but now Cold strikes, just tapping so casually, and there's 30 kills just like that Summit Freak. To accomplish nothing. Shroud, not blind, but he's also not in danger. That's Noodle who bails him out of a tough spot. He does fall to save Shroud, so Shroud's got to make up for it. Got to make sure his teammate's sacrifice is not in vain, and he does. Finds that one kill onto Lucas, and Henny in a one on three. The bomb is being planted, but he's being pushed upon so swiftly. Does good damage. He's got to find this kill, and he's got it. Now playing at an angle where he can isolate some of these players. Stewie's going to be the next one up. He's down very low. Henny, he does it! The magic comes out. A one on three for Henny in overtime. And nicely done. Now the guys from Tempo Storm, they'll take the lead away from C9 as we go into the second half. Uh, their spotty performances. Hopefully that ends at this tournament. Well, oh, Lee is going to pop flash him through this smoke. He takes relics off the back of the platform, and both players blind here in that exchange. One coming through the door. Wow. Alicia will take him down as well. He's gooshed up Mitch, who's in the window. He'll switch out to the USP. Cool kids don't reload. And still in the window, Mitch trying for it, and Elise takes him down, so oh, he's just doing this all bang. by himself! Who needs teammates? This is NACS! Look at Elise! On for the ace right now, you can hear the chance starting to come out, he's not checking his six, oh, he does get away! An ace! <laughs> oh my god. What a gamer. Wow, it looks like Relics is back involved. I, I assume he was having trouble, but it's Nifty doing work now on the site. He's got two shots. It's just Gobby. Now his location's no. Nifty gets set up on the angle, shoots a bit too early. So Gobby will find him. That's his second kill of the round now into another one versus one here on the B site. We've seen so many. And you can see Relics ready. Actually has the knife trying to bait out the peaks. And that, he sees the bullets. He knows now Gobby's not on the bomb. He's going to fall back. He's literally playing this 1v1 with only a knife. <laughs> And it, it works well. Wow. Yeah, I don't think he <laughs> had any other options. That's badass. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I don't know what happened, but clearly he wasn't able to do anything. Allowing that. The young Kenneth to win. And he's going to just try to keep chaining this momentum together. It smoked out really quick. He'll throw a fire to uh, upper mid. But that's just misdirection right now from Stealthless. We can see that they are geared up and ready to go B. Possibly somewhat quickly. Yep, here comes the play. Telegraphed by the smokes. Hiko hiding out. Does he have a flash to use? He won't worry about it. He'll just stay on the M4. And they won't even check it. He gets one, two, three, four, five. That's the ace from Hiko. What an insane spray in the A4 commercial as he gets all five kills with 30 bullets. Amazing shooting from Hiko to steal up the 13th round. And that's a little bit rough. Huge advantage still for Splice. But CLG, they're pushing forward. They can find something here. It's going to be Cutler that rounds out. He finds two kills back to back, but he gets caught trying to trade out a gun. Fugly finding another one. Jason R trades it back. And now it's Summit in the 1v1 to try and close this out against Fugly. Fugly playing it aggressively. No, but Summit's going to clutch it. And Splice will close out map number one, 16 to 11. Oh, wait. What? Okay then. No! <laughs> what happened? Oh no! Summit! No! Oh, that is uh, heartbreaking. Oh my well, goodness. There's that. Oh, Summit. And Taco inside the spot, he gets spammed right through the smoke. Still, Luminosity's trying to pressure this. Lucas has great positioning, spraying through, doesn't connect with any of those shots, but now running through the smoke is FNX, and he can find nothing. He looks the wrong way. 
Fallen picks up the slack with that AWP. It's on now. Fur is very, very low. Fallen's got to do some work. Phelps has good positioning over towards drop. He lands that shot through the box. Doesn't get the kill. Taps the bomb. That forces out Phelps. Fallen is a beast. Oh my goodness. Fallen with the huge clutch. He goes away to want to do it. 5-7 and M4A4. Definitely his best weapons. Well, Henchik's going across, but that will be selfless out of the tournament. Liquid moving on to one of the semifinals if tomorrow. Anything, if anything, that's a nice outer take that any team could take away, maybe, uh, to, to use at this level, because that was a really good fast outer take, apparently. Maybe it was just especially good versus Liquid for whatever reason, but I think the fact that Liquid didn't have an answer for so long was just quite alarming, and the fact that they won it on Eco is even more alarming. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I like uh, I like that. There's a risk no matter what. They could dump their because they bring it to the late round. Maybe they win no matter how much utility they have. But at the at the very least, they got to go off what they know. And that's sel selfless. Like the throw nades over Tikon and then run out of Tikon. At what point did Liquid just start off the round by throwing Molotovs, three Molotovs to Tikon and two over to Ladder Room, and then that'll slow Selfless down from the start. And here it is, the only caveat that they have to that strategy, and that's the oh fake Ego Enter. Is it going to be the, the classic Whoa! win? Close it out on Eco. Eco with the 3K. Make it four with the 5-7. And what is that? What is that? For the most part, it's definitely looking like another B hit coming out from these guys. Two players already pushed up the checkers. And Shroud as well, just to note this too, cooled himself off. Did not go for the aggressive play inside of, inside of that area, which he's been doing quite a lot this half. Decided to hold back instead and play up on the site with Slemmy. CLG, uh, Cotton I could have a read on this. They push into A main initially, but they don't rotate anyone over, so now it's just Shroud. Slemmy has fallen. Shroud, what have you got for us? You've got to come huge. Playing with this smoke, he's going to find one. He's got to do more, and he does. Finds that second kill. There's Skadoodle on the rotation. The defense holds strong. Shroud with the third. And Cloud9 bring it to 15. Shutting it down. What a huge comeback now coming out from C9, and there is one round away from taking control of their home map. A very fierce team right now, very, very fluent with their play. Uh, we're just going to have to get in their face and show them that we're not scared too much and put up a good fight. All right, all right. Well, congratulations again, Jordan. We need to do our traditional handshake. All right, I messed it up. I messed oh, it up. We yes. So you messed it up. <laughs> Either way, it's going to be a GIF. I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Well, thank you very much, Jordan, and congratulations again. Smoke comes out. This will allow the two members of Cloud9, unless Henny can hit some lucky shots through the smoke, to wrap in towards CT Spawn, but it's not very deep. So when they come through this, Henny might have an opportunity, and there it is. Slummy falls, but the second player just keeps running forward. He's lost his teammate, but he's pushing in. There's the shotgun. Comes out. Two kills for Lucas. Much like Cobble, two impact kills the shotgun, but Skadoodle is still alive. And as well, the plant's going to come in, and nothing's watching for the rotation, too, so... Well, it's gonna go on the ground. Unfortunately, Skadoodle does have to watch out as two players are working their way in, but he's able to hold that off as well. Picking up one more. Didn't spot the second as of yet in N1. Nicely done. Peeks back out. Now Skadoodle's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Essentially, he's gonna peek out, but he's gotta watch his flank. There's the first shot. Now check behind you, and no! He escapes! He's in the safe flank position now, and he can just walk away. Is this gonna be the ace from Skadoodle waiting for the last shot? And he's gonna do it! Skadoodle with a huge clutch grabs the ace, and a fourth round up on the board for C9. With the very minimal investment they've brought, this is already a great round. Getting that bomb onto the floor, and CLG being so passive about this retake, they're really not being so active about trying to get themselves into the site. Finally, Slemmy starts to sneak around to look for a flank, but Cutler holds that off, but now they need to get back in, because they're running out of time here. And now that Opress is going to come in, Stewie finding one, finds the second, so far evenly traded, but now takes the advantage. And only Cutler left alive, he's going to miss that shot. Cutler gets the touchdown grenade, but Skadoodle, is he going to go for the knife? He actually gets spotted, Cutler finds the kill, but it doesn't matter because time is out. Come on, Alex. <laughs> I just described my point. life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, get up about you know you know late afternoon after watching far too many uh, American TV shows. But moving away from my life and back into this, I mean I do think there's a lot of brands, a lot of different styles of coach. Some teams you know they've got a presence like God B and you know with energy, and they don't need a heavy leadership. Leadership, they just need something something to kind of a regiment almost. And you may be wondering why we're waiting. It's because there's a massage going on on stage. <laughs> That's entirely what we're waiting for. Jordan, when's Jordan coming to the desk to give us some? Yeah, actually, I'm feeling I've got a couple of knots yeah. on my shoulders. Maybe we can, you know, delay the game further and get him over here. <laughs> <laughs> and now, of course, Luminosity too, with uh, no reason to really rush things. You can tell they're just not investigating anything into these rounds. They don't really have to. Just save for the gun round, and all right, we still have, we still have a 13 round cushion, so we have no reason to worry as of yet. We can easily just throw these couple of rounds away here. 
It would be cool if they if they would just decided to to buy up because this is one of uh, Henry's big triggers. But that's a nice shot for Shroud. A second jumping shot and a third. Shroud comes up big.